Hey everybody, <clears throat> it's John back again, and uh, today I'm going to do another Ghostbusters Versus video. So here I got uh, Egon Spengler here in package, and you can see it's in a window box. It's got the Ghostbusters logo there. These are the Hasbro figures, and uh, the box is kind of looks like a jumpsuit. Pieces of possibly a jumpsuit. That's kind of cool. Uh, you got some weird eyeless ghoul like versions of the Ghostbusters. On the back you have the rest of the figures and the build a figure that you can get there. Uh, Egon was of course the brains of the operation and uh, it's a pretty simple box and um, he, he, actually the face sculpt on him looks pretty good. Uh, from inside the package he's got his PKE reader of course, he's got his uh, wand and backpack, so uh, give me a second here, and I'll open this up, and we'll take a closer look. And there it fits in his hand, so you can hold it and do some investigating with that. Poses pretty well. And then the other thing he comes with is this Build-A-Figure piece. I know I got a body sitting around here. Somewhere, come here, Clortho. As it should be... The front leg? Is that what it's telling me? Is this... No. It looks like the articulated leg goes up front. And the stumpy leg goes in the back. Maybe I got... Maybe that's why this one doesn't fit. Maybe this one goes here. Oh yeah, that's much better. And this must be the one that goes into his rear. Maybe. Yeah, that's a better fit. So now I got a two-legged demon dog. It's still, it's weird how that leg jets out like that. What an odd, oddly designed little beast he is. Oh, and that ankle joint on this one is like completely frozen. Uh -oh. Have to work on that later. So again, this was the <clears throat> Hasbro and Mattel's figure, which I think the Hasbro figure outshines Mattel's a whole lot on this time around, other than the missing paint apps. If you are following this line and picking it up, um, what do you think? Which one, if you got these, which one do you think is the closest likeness to Mr. Ramis? And uh, let me know down below if, in fact, uh, you like the Mattel or the Hasbro version better. And if there are any certain figures that haven't been announced yet that you're looking forward to that they might do. It's uh, kind of nice to see the line continue more than just the four figures they decided to do. It was kind of like a cash grab to tie in with the 2016 movie. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Would have been nice to see some other figures. At least we got some coming. Um, the exclusive from Hasbro Pulse looks Pulse looks pretty interesting. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching. I continue to pick up subscribers here and there. It's kind of cool to see that grow. One of these days, hopefully, I'll hit a thousand. Um, at five sixty-six, I think at the moment. So thank you, new guys, and everybody that watches the videos. And I'll uh, see you later. Bye. Here we have Egon outside of the package, and standing side by side right now, um, I like the Hasbro figure a bit, if you can look at the stance, I like just kind of the way he stands there. Um, of course the darker, well it's hard to say, I kind of like the lighter uniform this time, and Egon's skin tone I think is a little bit better, the face sculpt is definitely a lot better on Hasbro's. So let's take a quick look at the two. We can uh, get a little bit of a focus here, camera. There he is. So here is Egon, our Harold Ramis sculpt. It looks pretty good. He's definitely got a more human face. I like the way the glasses are kind of sculpted onto his face. 
Um, his hair is nicely sculpted. And if you bring in Mattel's, you can see that there's a problem with the way these glasses don't really ever sit. They kind of always float up. And this face to me looks like somebody squashed it before it made it out of the mold. And his hair is a little bit more cartoonish. But I definitely like this face sculpt better. And um, a little bit of extra paint accents on the Mattels is always a plus with a little bit of silver on the zipper. And I, don't know, I kind of like the clear hose. And the hose going back into the actual pack instead of just his belt. And the boots. Well, that's kind of your choice. The way the articulation is on the Hasbro figures, of course, is better. And uh, I think they hide it pretty well. The logo looks a little bit more pronounced on the Mattels, but that could just be because it's on a darker background. And that being said, the articulation is a bit better and more advanced on the Hasbro. Mattel's does not really want to stand up very well, and so does the Hasbro's fall down. It's one problem I've been having with so far the figures that I've opened is their ankles are at a weird position where they either lean in too far back or too far forward, but with a little bit of work, uh, it, it turns out okay. But you got a nice, let me get out a little bit here, uh, a swivel. And you can look up and down with the Hasbro. It's got a nice range of movement. Mattel's you get some side to side, and that's really a bit it. A bit it instead of at at the head, it's at the neck where the articulation point is, which is a little weird. And you do have um, butterfly joints, and they're on a rotation hinge there. You got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows swivel and hinged wrists, which is really nice. And Mattel's just have a straight up hinge and rotation, no bicep, single elbow. You do get a rotation and hinge at the wrist, so, you know, the Hasbro kind of wins out there. You get a lot of moment, movement on the a dumbbell joint in there. So he doesn't go too far forward or back, but he can get side to side and turn. And you just got a waist swivel on um, Mattel's. The legs get a lot of nice movement. They can go forward and go back. There's a swivel at the thigh. You get double jointed knees. No boot cut. There's a hinge and rockers on his feet. And uh, the Mattel's is using, I think, the same, looks like the most DC Classics kind of leg movement, where it's that weird T. You do get some good, well, not a whole lot of forward on there, not any back. You can go fully to the side, though. <laughs> does also have a rotation at his thigh, single jointed knee, a boot cut. And hinge and no rockers. The ankles are a little bit more stable on Mattel's. Probably because they don't have the rocker joint. But that's uh, really about it. And we went over in my last one of these that I did how I like the little connecting wire on Mattel's that you do not get on the Hasbro. And the extra little paint apps are nice. But overall the size and grip on this one are a little bit better. The packs are bigger. Of course, you get more wire painting and just a little bit more details than Mattel's. But Hasbro's looks like it's an easier and a more realistic size. And we just slide that on over the head. There's a peg here for it to plug into. And then just gotta stretch this piece over. Which it's a little bit warped from being crumpled up in the package. But with some effort, it should 
peg in. Very good. And again, the biggest complaint I have is, of course, the fact that it doesn't come with any um, stream effect. So that just comes with Winston. And I'm starting to see these guys now pile up on the shelves at Walmarts and Targets. Except for Winston. So I think a lot of people are either <clears throat> picking up Winston, multiple Winstons just for the stream effect, or he's being, it's being uh, stolen out of the packages. I've seen a few empty. But, uh, it just plugs in, and he's going to leave it on his back because his extra accessory, which is a teeny tiny PKE meter, not a whole lot of detail on it. It'd be nice if it had a little bit more paint, but it should fit nicely in his hand. I just want to say thank you one more time for checking out this video and if you're interested in seeing any more you can click uh, either one of the links that will be over here and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel there'll be a button down below where you can do that as well and again thank you